Hello lovely viewers, welcome to Eben Tech Studio. Thank you very much for watching my videos online. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate to you how you'll be able to display a full screen scripture and then lyrics on your auditorium screens or people who are on site or in the church auditorium. Once you display the same scripture or lyrics to um, audience following from online over a video. So um, if before we move to the tutorial, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do so. Click on the like button and then click on the notification bell to get notified of every content we put online. And make sure you share the video. If you need any assistance on anything, you can just um, contact. And then if any of the devices that are displayed in this video you need, um, you need to buy, you can contact and then you will be sorted out. So the numbers are displayed on the screen. Link up for anything that you need. Okay, so without wasting much time, I've prepared a presentation that I'm going to show you and then we move on to the um, physical connection and then we do the, the configurations too as well. So this is the presentation. It says display full screen and lower tier at the same time. So I'm going to start with this one. So like um, you are into video streaming or you are into church uh, media and then actually you want to show a video like um, you want to display the video um, on your TV screens. But when it's time to display lyrics or show um, um, the scripture, you want it to show full screen in the auditorium and then show the same scripture or lyrics in a lower tier to those who are following online so in that case um it says that people in the auditorium or on site who have full size lyrics or scripture on their screens when scripture or lyrics is displayed so this is ideal or this is good for those who are in the auditorium or those who are following on site or in the church premises and then this particular one is um, ideal for video recording. Maybe you want to keep the video so you are recording your streaming software, whether you are using OBS or Easy Worship. So this is um, this will be good for you. So it says people who are following online will have lower third lyrics and scripture displayed over the video. So actually, this one wouldn't be good for people who are following on site or in the auditorium because they wouldn't be able to see the lyrics being displayed. Um, or see the scripture being displayed, especially when they are sitting afar from the screen. So we actually don't use low water or it's not advisable when you, are, when you want to display it on the screen to people in the auditorium. So now um, the third one is um, both online and on-site will have only video displayed on their screen when the scripture or lyrics is taken off. So when there is no scripture and then when there is no lyrics, um, you just have to show um, your video or your presentation. It could be a presentation file, or PowerPoint file, or whatever that you want to show it. Um, and then it's a video. As for that one, it, it needs to show um, a full screen size. So that is it. So your video in the auditorium screen, um, the video should show on a full screen in the auditorium. Okay, so now we are moving to um, the devices that we need to set up this particular um, this particular media um, we want to do. So actually, um, I'm going to demonstrate using one laptop. There are many methods and many approach to achieving this, but I'm assuming you only have one laptop, one powerful laptop that you have. So I'm just going to assume that that is the particular laptop you want to use for all of this. So let's move outside and then I will show you some of these devices and then what we will need to achieve this particular setup you want to do. And once again, if you need any of these devices, you are in GH, you want to you need any of these devices, please contact from the, um, the numbers which were displayed on the screen and then you'll be sorted out or you'll be made fine. All right, so this is my laptop. So this is my laptop. And then um, I've connected um, this docking station to the laptop through the USB interface. So this is the USB interface. I've connected this to this. Um, so I want to show you my third monitor. This is my third monitor for which I'm going to display um, the free worship content to this 
and then I'm going to show you my secondary monitor, which is my TV screens that um, the audience are able to see. So I actually don't want to connect my <clears throat> my TV screens monitor to either the VGA or the HDMI port right here. Let me see if I can get it very clearly. So that is the HDMI port on my laptop. I don't want to connect anything to there because I have um, two display ports here and I want to make use of it. So this cable is my TV screens um, HDMI cable. This cable goes straight to um, my splitter. Yeah, I'm going to show you the splitter and then the TV screens connect to the splitter. This cable could have been connected directly to the laptop, okay? I've been connected. So in case you are using a laptop that doesn't support multiple display at the same time. For instance, sometimes you have HDMI, you have VG on your laptop, but you can't use both at the same time. There are some laptops you can't use both at the same time. So I prefer to use this one, connect it to a USB, and then when it's connected to a USB, I just plug in my HDMI cable to this and this my monitor is a dvi cable so i'm going to connect this one to the dvi port on my dock okay so as i said earlier i could have connected this directly to this and then connected my third monitor directly to this one and it's going to work okay and it's going to work so now i'm going to do the connection for my third monitor okay so this is my third monitor and then when i'm done i'm going to show you my splitter and then the audience monitor okay so so this monitor is going to be used for my fold back display. So I'll customize and then create the lower third um, display on this particular monitor and then send it back into OBA. So as you can see, I've connected the DVI to um, the dock. Okay, so this is my third monitor. I'm going to use this as my third monitor. And then my secondary monitor is the audience monitor. So now as you can see, I have three monitors. My prime monitor, which is my laptop screen, my second uh, my third monitor so now let me go and show you the the audience monitor which is going to be my secondary monitor you so that is my splitter okay so if you can see you can see some three green lights and means that i've connected three um tv screens for my audience so that is my splitter over there and there's my um one of the audience monitor let me zoom back that is one of the audience monitor one and then the audience monitor two so all of them are connected to the splitter okay then another audience monitor three okay so let's see how we can connect our camera also to um, our pc so i have here this small um, capture card an inexpensive capture card so I'm going to use this for the demonstration. Um, this is one of the USB capture cards I have. Um, and then you need to get a mini HDMI cable to full HDMI. So my mini HDMI is going into the camera and then the full HDMI is going to connect to um, the capture card because we are going to include video in our lower third. Okay, so this will enter this and this is going to enter the um the mini port hdmi on the camera this is the um the camera i've connected the mini hdmi to it and then from there to the capture card into any usb port on my laptop or the dock i can connect it to the dock because um there are extra usb ports there so i want to connect it but you can connect that straight to your laptop USB port, okay? So you can do that straight to your USB port on your laptop, but I prefer to use this one. It's not a big deal. You still, are, you still can connect that to it. So now what you have to do is that, now let's go to um, the PC and let's do the configuration. So now on our desktop screen, we need to identify our monitors connected to our PC. So we are going to right click on our desktop, choose display settings. Now when the display settings open, you will see the monitors which are connected to your PC. The one is my laptop screen and then the two is my monitor two. That is uh, my TV screen is connected to the splitter. And then monitor three is the side monitor I showed you. So um, the monitor three is going to be the monitor I'm going to use for the lower third or the fold back in, um, in the easy worship. So monitor two becomes 
my um my tv screens for um projecting to the audience now we need to open easy worship 2009 and then do some um display settings over here so open your easy worship 2009 and then when you have opened your easy worship you are going to click on the live menu so click on the live menu and then choose the display options or the options choose the options and then when you have chosen that under the general we need to select our uh, output monitor so in my case i'm going to choose secondary monitor so my secondary monitor is going to be my main display for the audience or the congregation screen so that is what i'm going to do when you are done and then click on ok so now click on the live menu again and this time we are going to um display foldback options so this is where we are going to set our monitor uh, for the foldback and then which we are going to use for our lower third so under the um foldback monitor we are going to choose monitor 3 so that is my desktop monitor um which i'm going to use for the lower third so i'm going to select monitor 3 or my third monitor for that purpose and then um let's do a couple of um some kind of changes in our settings so now let's come to the song test and then when we come to the song test um let's change the vertical alignment to bottom and then reduce the font size to eight so make sure that you are doing the same settings that i'm doing but you can change your own thing and then let's change um some of these settings too so we are going to dis uh, disable this and then let's see what else can we disable we are going to also dis disable this um label to okay so that we don't see any label in our third and then let's go to the to the scripture so when we get to the scripture to reduce the font size to eight and then we change the alignment to bottom so that is a test alignment and then let's also make some changes over here so the reference font so our reference font let's do some changes i'm going to change it from font white to um yellow so when i give it a yellow then i click on ok to apply and then let's see um i want to put it on top okay so i'm going to set it to the top center and when i'm done i click on ok all right so now let's come to the alert and then the time so we are going to disable this option and then when it comes to um the alert here um you can either leave it or enable, um disable it now when you disable it then that means um when you show an alert in in your main display it's not going to show on the on the um on the lower third so if you if it is enabled to then that means it will show in your lower third but mostly um i prefer to disable it because i can create um uh, an alert in OBS or VMix, uh, scrolling alert. Um, but if you'd want to leave it that way, then that is fine. But um, when it is enabled, it shows big. It, it may cover the lower third, so it's not necessary to enable it. But if you think you can reduce the size, that will be fine to do that. And then, so I'm going to disable that option and then I'll click on the OK button. All right, so now we are going to display some scriptures and see how um, it will be displayed on our third monitor and then our audience monitor, which is our secondary screen. So I'm going to turn on the live button in Easy Worship, and then I'll double click on um, a scripture and then show you how both are going to be displayed. So this is my laptop screen. And then having uh, on the, my top left is the lower third display. That's my third monitor. And then on the right top is my easy worship displaying full scripture there. All right. So now on our desktop screen, we need to open OBS. So um, with our easy worship open, we are going to open OBS and then add our camera source in there. So let's open easy worship and then put it at one side. And then we open our OBS where we are going to add our source. And our source is going to be our capture card or our camera so um with this particular scene we are going to add a camera source so now let's um click on the plus sign under the sources panel and then choose video um capture device and then we gonna add our camera so let's give it a name and then just call it camera and then we click on the ok so now we need to select our camera so my camera will appear as usb video so i'm going to select that one 
and then the video is going to be this, uh, preview here so i click on okay to add it so in my case i've added this video i need to add another scene okay so i'm going to do another scene and then um let me rename this scene so actually we are creating two scenes so i'm going to rename this one um let me call it video or uh, camera audio and then easy worship so rename it according to whatever you want so in my case i'm going to rename it this way so um i'm adding audio to it because um maybe you might want to add audio source or whatever you might want to do with it so this is my first scene my scene is just going to contain the audio and then the video that means the sound maybe um you've imported a camera so i'm going to have only this one and the second one the second scene so now let's add um the audio and see now this is how in case you want to add audio this is how you are going to add the audio so you rename the audio you select the audio device and then you add the audio source to it so in my scene one or the first scene i have these two so i'm going to copy I'm going to um i need to i need to create the same sources in the second one but i want to copy the two so um i can copy them and then come and paste in the second scene so in here i'm going to paste them here i could have added it directly through the adding of sources but since i already have it i'm going to paste it there so um now let's bring in our easy worship that's our lower third monitor so we are going to choose um display capture so we are going to um, bring in our third monitor so our lower third monitor that is our uh, uh, monitor three we are going to bring it in here so um i'm going to rename this one also so easy worship lower third or whatever you might want to call it or easy worship display or any other thing so now let's choose the monitor um i'm going to choose monitor three so i've been able to identify my monitor so choose the third monitor and then when you are done click on ok so this is our display so that's our third monitor so actually um this is our third monitor that we are using for our footback or our lower third so um let me disable this case off so that no mouse pointer will show in, um, on the display so when you are done click on ok and then now you can see the um the scripture has overlaid the video so um that is a perfect thing to do make sure that um is always on top okay make sure that the, uh, the script or the display is covering the video camera okay as for the microphone it can be at any point so it shouldn't be like this else you wouldn't have a lower third you are not able to see the scripture layered over the video so this is how we need to do it so right click on it right click on the display capture and then click on filters and then now we are going to add a filter we want to remove the black so we are going to choose color key now when you click on color key you click on ok and then um you change this option to custom color and then let's choose a color from our picker so we are going to choose black and then when we finish um let's click on the ok so as soon as we click on ok the all the black is going to be removed and then we can close this window and then it will be applied in our video so now we can see the scripture layered on top of the uh, on top of the video as i said the audio that you have added can be at any position because um it doesn't really matter where audio uh, is added so now we have our script layered over our video and that is how exactly we want to so let's push it a little bit on top of um and give it a margin so now this is what we do so um right here we have our video here so we have our video in there and then for us to be able to um so send one is going to show only our video with so now click on transition and then when you have clicked on transition in the program side you right click and then you choose full screen and then you choose your secondary monitor which is your audience monitor in this case we also want to show the video or um the the program to our audience so our program is going to our video is going to show to our audience in the auditorium so we are going to have that kind of display um camera we are displaying the camera to in the auditorium so that um we can switch between scripture and then video as well so now um let's turn off the uh, we are going to turn off the live menu and then we'll be able to show only the scripture so now when you turn off the live in easy worship um we turn it off when we want to show scripture 
in full screen okay so we want to show scripture in full screen so we have to turn it off and then now let's see we want to search for a scripture so we are going to search for a scripture and then we project so after that i will show you how it will display in the auditorium and then how it will display also in the lower test so we have a scripture like this and then we have to double click on it to go live so first of all we are going to turn on the live menu so now let's double click from the preview side turn on the live again the live button and then our scripture will show fully on our tv screen because easy worship is going to overtake um our our tv screen and so now you have to click on transition to send your preview um preview in the obs to your program or your life so so that your those who are watching from online can see what um the lower test scripture so now obs records or stream your program so if you don't click on the transition you will not be um they will not be able to see um the lower test scripture in the recorded video so obs records um not the um the program uh, the preview but the program so now that we have clicked on transition it sends our scripture to the program so make sure that you do this very fast Af after you have projected the scripture on your tv you click on the transition to move it to your recorded or your stream video in obs so that is so now when you want to display the video onto your um onto your tv screens then that means you would have to transit again so you after you've selected the first and which contains only video you transit and then when you transit because the easy worship life is still on you have to put it off and then the video will take over the screen so anytime the life is on it means that easy worship is going to overtake the content which is displayed in easy worship is going to overtake the screen so you have to turn it off because um now because we've already set our program in obs to the to show full screen on our tv screen so now we have the video on on that projecting um a lyrics is also the same so double click the lyrics from the preview side after you have searched and then turn on the live menu uh, the live button when you turn on the live the lyrics is going to display on your tv screen and then it's also going to display in your obs so when you do that make sure that your obs the same that has the the lyrics with it is selected the uh, easy worship scene is selected and then do a transition so that those who are watching from online or your recording video will also have the lower third lyrics one thing i have to let you know is that when you are using this approach to create a lower third make sure you don't minimize easy worship let it be open alongside your streaming software else when you are displaying the lower third and that you minimize the window the easy worship window it is going to display your your third monitor desktop because the desktop screen on your third monitor that is what is going to display so make sure you are not minimizing it now when i minimize that means the output on the third monitor goes off yeah so for our vmix users this is what you are going to do um you need to add your camera so we are going to add our camera input and then you choose camera so now from the sources or device we have to choose our usb capture card or camera so when you are done choose the resolution if you are using the particular video ca uh, capture card that i demonstrated choose this particular resolution if you want to experience smooth um, video in your vmix so click on ok and then we have our video in there as input one so our video goes to input one and then we need to add our input two so we need to add our source here so now let's pick input two input two is going to be our um fold back display or our lower third or our third monitor so now let's select the ndi display and then we come to local um device or display so i'm going to choose um live output is worship live output because vmix identifies my third monitor for which um the content is displayed on as the uh, live output is worship live output and then the live output two is rather my my screen my tv screens in the auditorium so i'm going to choose this and i'll click on ok to bring in my um my third monitor content so that is what is being displayed over here click the settings icon and then we would have to change um so let's go to color key and then select a color and then select the black to remove the black from the the color you can make an adjustment from the levels over here just to suit you and then when you close it 
is going to apply on our content so now there is a filter um, which is applying let's click on layer one as soon as we click on layer one it's going to apply the scripture over the video so when we change the scripture it's going to show on our video so vmix will make it somehow easier than um, obs so now click on the full screen icon and then choose display one and then set it to input one so we are going to make our video or our camera to be the the one that will show on our tv screen so that is how we'll be able to show our video so always is the camera so because we want to show the video camera on our tv screens now click on the settings we want to verify that our full screen is um our display two or our tv screen so my tv screen is two the monitor two so i'm going to click on ok and then when the live when the full screen button is turned on it will show green meaning that my camera is live on on the tv screens and anytime i project scripture i'll just click on overlay one so that the scripture will just be applied on the video so now to display song or uh, scripture you have to turn off the live in easy worship search for the song and then double click to go live and then click on the live button to turn it on and then the, the song is going to display large on the on the tv screen and then when you click on overlay one it will show a lower third on the video which your um online viewers are viewing or when you are recording it's um will be recording the program so actually the the vmix records the program and stream the program just like obs so you have it this way so once again um if you want to show the scripture or the or the uh, or the song you just have to search for the song and then you you double click on it to go live as you do in easy worship and make sure that you have selected the overlay overlay one it will overlay on the video in your streaming and then when you turn it off it will remove it and then it will um it will show only the video all right thank you very much for watching this video stay blessed